Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel on Just Gaming With You and as you can already tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be telling you some uh, tips and tricks on how to get past or beat hard levels in Dancing Line and stuff. I'm not too for sure if a lot of people still play it uh, to this very day and stuff because I know that Dancing Line, they stopped uh, putting out new levels and stuff. Something happened where they had to stop putting out new levels and stuff. Available on Android and stuff. I don't know about iOS or anything, but I know it's still available on iOS, uh, on Android and stuff. Some easy ways to be able to get past hard levels and stuff. I'm going to tell you my experience before um, getting into the tips and tricks and stuff. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. It doesn't take a lot. There's nothing really to explain like that. It's just, you know, some tips and tricks and stuff. My experience and stuff, I've been playing Dancing Line for about a good three years and stuff now. And my first experience playing and stuff, you know, for the first level, it was very difficult. I'm sure if you're new to a new game that's on a uh, on device or something like that, I'm sure it, it may be difficult at first. But, like, once you start get the hang of everything and stuff and then, you know, practicing and stuff, then it becomes easier and easier and easier. Once it takes... A minute, you know, for me to be able to learn something and get the hang of something extremely quickly and stuff. And on Dance and Lime, there are levels and stuff on there that's easier than others, hard and stuff, and difficult. For an example, I'm gonna name one um, hardest level, the Chinese Festival, on there. When I first played that level, first ever try out that level, I was thinking like I would never get past this level. Like it was, it looked so freaking difficult. Like a lot of moving, uh, a lot of shaking. Well, not too much shaking, but it was, it was, you know, quite a bit of shaking in that level and stuff. All distractions and stuff. And I'm going to show you or tell you, you know, how you can, you know, be able to get past those levels and be able to get past it just quick, you know. Um, I'm going to tell you how. The first thing is, you can't get past. I mean, some people can learn. Some people get past levels quicker, for example, like a day or two. Somebody else could take them weeks, months to be able to get past that level. You know, the, depending on how hard and, and how much you practice on that level. But sometimes that person doesn't need to practice. You know, sometimes because the levels, the game is basically based off of, you know, music beats and songs you can grasp on the sound and the music and stuff with that level quickly and stuff you know it'll become easier and stuff and you know you'll be able to pass that level with flying colors and stuff but the thing is with some levels it can be very very easy to get distracted because a lot of animations and stuff in the background and, and some and a lot of shaking and you know as there are some blind spots and stuff on some of those levels and stuff and sometimes you have to go you know, with your conscience and stuff, your 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 instincts and stuff. You know, it got guidelines and stuff on there for you because you know sometimes it could be if you're not like I said, if you're if you're new to that level, you never played or heard that level, heard the music and ever and everything ever before. They have the options to be able to you to equip the guidelines and stuff, so they you know it can guide you where you need to tap at and X. Even with the guidelines and stuff, you still have to be able to memorize the level. You know, because the guidelines can only do so much for you. For example, the assassin, um, that's a very intense level. A lot of shaking, a lot of rotating, a lot of animations and stuff going on. A lot of, you know, blind spots and stuff. Spamming, you know, and sometimes the guidelines it is made for you to show you where you need to tap at next, basically. It's all up to you being able to get past that level on your own because you need to be able to practice and memorize sound and beats of the level. The guidelines and stuff can only do so much, you know, and for me, I still fail on some levels, you know, to this day, like the Chinese festival, I still fail. I'm like, I know how to get past that level, you know, but sometimes my thumb is tired, you know, sometimes it can be difficult for me to keep on tap. It requires you to tap really, really fast. Um, I will tell you my top five uh, hardest levels that I think are extremely difficult to get past. It requires you to practice a lot in order to be able to get past the level with flying colors. I'm only going to tell you based off of the, the hard levels that I beat already. The hardest level for me that I always thought that I would never, ever in a million years be able to get past. And like I said, it was the Chinese uh, the Chinese festival. You know, because that was a difficult level for me to be able to get past. Because at the ending, if you saw 
some gameplays and stuff on YouTube. There's a lot of stuff, you know, where people will play that level, the Chinese festival, at the ending, where the mask and stuff drops. It could be, it could be a little difficult, you know, the mask and stuff following, falling, falling, excuse me. And then you got spam, you know, like, it's just a lot of things just going on and stuff. The second thing was the assassin. It took me four hours to finally get past that level with the guideline. It took me four hours to finally get past that level without messing up. So I already know the, the beat and the sound of the whole level and you know it could still mess me up to this day but with, with the guidelines and stuff I was able to get past, finally got past that level after four hours. Like it wasn't the very first time but it was I would say the I would say the first time ever putting that that much uh that much focus on that level. Ever keep trying, you know, not stop. And that was the very first time ever doing that with that uh, specific level, you know. And after four hours of trial and error, I finally got past that level with guidelines and stuff. And then I made a video, you know, passing that level. Before the video even starts and stuff, I said that even with guidelines or not, you still got to be able to memorize the beat and the sound of the music because if you don't know the music by heart you will basically be playing the game blind. You know, you got to be able to know the music and know the sound, know the beat, the taps and stuff. And that was the second thing because that was that was the quickest of ever being that level um, with guidelines for the first time without messing up or whatever. I mean, it was long, but um, it was short compared to other different levels that I practiced on, which took me some months, some years or whatever. You know, because I don't spend so much time, on, you know, playing, you know, but the number one key is to just keep practicing. Just keep on practicing. But there's no easy, easy way to get past the most difficult level. So everything, you, you got to be able to practice in order to be able to get past level. And it takes determination, it takes discipline, and, you know, it takes focus, you know, and that's that's the main key. And so just keep practicing, practicing, practicing until you finally memorize the beat, and you know, and you finally get the feel of how the level is and looks and stuff. And sometimes when I die at a certain part of the level and, you know, I get to start a checkpoint, I, I sometimes don't always start back at the beginning because if I never beat that level before and I die at like a certain checkpoint where it lets me go back to that part, I practice on that part until I get the hang of that part. The part that's messing me up the most I keep on practicing instead of starting all the way over at the beginning, just frustrating myself more. And I just keep practicing on that list. Unless you can keep on watching advertisement, they keep getting like uh, revival lives and stuff to be able to start back at that checkpoint. You know, and if you have the patience to do that, you go on and do that. So the second thing is try not to get so, uh, try not to get so distracted with the background animations and stuff. Try not to. You can wonder your eyes a little bit. When I say a little bit, I mean a split second and then go back to what you're doing. Because it can be easily, you can get easily distracted if the animations in the background are crazy and shaking and stuff. Like, try not to get too distracted about the animation. Now, if you, once you beat the level, you record and you beat the level and stuff, you can go back and watch it. You can look at the animations all day long if you want. Because you're, you're not, I mean, you're playing it, but you're watching your, your own gameplay you know yeah the third hard level was the football you know i wouldn't say it wasn't that difficult to get past it was it's a pretty easy level to me now because I, I beat a lot of harder levels than that so that one is just like extremely easy for me i can easily get past that with flying colors but even sometimes i do still mess up but that'd be based off of my thumb being tired and sometimes i can't tap a lot you know because it'd be tired but there's one particular part in the level where um it shifts you over like to a screen for me when i first played that was the difficult part because you would have to shift your eyes to a different part which was the screen and then it would like show these different clips and stuff like a person at the cafe watching the game a person at home and stuff like that and 
It can be a distraction. You know, the TV can be a little bit far away, and you, you, your your eyes can easily wander off. And I just say, like, just keep practicing and stuff. Like, it can be a little difficult to shift your eyes over. It's like, da 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 da, you know, stuff like that. And I can easily shift my eyes to that because I'm, I'm very familiar with the level and I can easily do that with the flying colors and stuff. Try to focus on shifting your eyes to that. It may be easy for you and maybe difficult for other people and stuff, but you know, it, it's still a difficult thing. The fourth one was faded. Not the, cause there's two different versions. There's the actual faded where it's just in black and, like black and white grayish type. Uh, level and the other one is like uh, I'll put it up it on the screen and show you <laughs> all right it's like right right here so and <laughs> I would say for me that was difficult I back when I was 15 I would play play that level I will always mess up at the ending and stuff because of those those jump pads and stuff it was weird but like I finally got past the level about a month or two yeah a month ago I only got past that level, you know, so I knew I could pass it. It's just the jump pass was was what messed me up most of the time. That's like the basically the second second thing, you know, to not get distracted and stuff with stuff like that. You know, that's tip number two, I guess. Um, it's not a lot of tips and stuff to it. It's just the, like I said, the main thing is just practice and not get too distracted and stuff. Uh, the third thing, use guidelines, whatever. And not all levels have guidelines. Um, for example, for the racing, um, um, for me, with the death slide that I have, it doesn't have guidelines for that for some reason. And that's like the last level, which is the most difficult one, the hardest one ever. So the fifth one was is chaos. I recently beat that about three or four days ago. A lot of spamming tight uh, spaces it gets some of the rows get smaller and then a lot of uh shifting and, and, and moving and stuff like that but i practice and some of those levels like i said I play, i've been playing the game for three years you know so back then i would practice a little bit on that level but the very first time ever putting much effort into it trying to beat it you know was like four or five days ago so that's like five Hardest levels that I beat so far in the game. Um, to me, that's hard. That's extremely hard. But just don't be lazy, you know, because if you be lazy and stuff and, you know, stuff like that, you know, you you you, you won't be able to pass a level. You will always mess up. Just put the effort into, you know, trying to beat the, the level and stuff. That was, that was pretty much it for this video and stuff. Like, yeah, that's the main key. Uh... Practice. Second, don't get distracted with background animations and stuff. Just focus on the beat of the song. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, third, use guidelines if you have to. Um, and always remember, the guidelines can only do so much. It's only there to guide you to where you need to tap at next. If you're, you're new to that level and you never heard a song before, that's what the guidelines are there for. Therefore, the guidelines can only do so much for you. They can only do so much with the shaking and, and moving around and different animations in the background and different blind spots. It can be difficult for you to be able to see the guidelines and stuff. So that's why I was saying with whether you're using guidelines or not, you still got to be able to memorize the song by heart in order to be able to be in order for you to be able to finally get past that level. You know what I'm saying? So that was basically it for this video. That was all. I hope. The tips and tricks and stuff for a dancing line help at least a little bit for you. Um, you know, I really hope it did. You know, so if it, if it helps, that's good. If, if it doesn't help, I'm, I'm sorry. I did my best and stuff. This is just from my experience of playing that game for a long time. You know, and if and that's just my experience, you know, that's just my tip. Just keep on practicing and you'll be able to get past the level. You know, so... Thank you guys for watching this video and stuff, and I'll see you next time on my YouTube channel. Just came with you.